you know, I was just uh, listening to this one guy's TikTok. And he was going on and on about him about this. He went to the liquor store to get something, whatever. And he gets in his car and he sits down and he's observing the lady that's coming out. And he goes on and on and on about how beautiful she is. Her makeup is flawless and blah, 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 blah. And just as he's closing the door, the wind blew, something like that. And, oh, she smelled like a month-old, nasty, rotten salmon. I will never forget his words. And how, you ladies, you just need to sit in the bathtub a little bit longer. That's not always everybody's issue. When I, well, I, of course, I can only speak for myself and my sisters. Uh, and my mother, who never had a smell. I mean, my mother could not bathe, probably. Of course, she never would not bathe. Um, for a week. And in, in living in San Bernardino County, where it gets 120 degrees, she never had an odor. I always had an odor. And as I grew up, of course, it didn't help that I started my cycle when I was eight. So it's it's not always what you think it is. So as I grew, got older, I noticed when I went to different people's houses that made me nervous, poof, I was just like a skunk. Anything that made me nervous or afraid, I would just have an odor. And think, yes, dear, are you going to say hello? Say hi. Say hi louder. Say hi. No, don't eat that. I don't know if cats could eat carob. Yes, I broke down yesterday and got a, a carob covered uh, raisins. We'll just leave that there. That, no, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> no chewing wire. Okay, I don't think your intestines would like that very much. Okay, so, you know, everybody's not everybody else. I'm not my mother. I'm not my mother. No. Thank you, good boy. Um, in the fact that, you know, she had perfect, flawless skin until the day she died. You know, she had beautiful, always long, thick hair like... Uh, uh, remember the movie Claudine with Carol? I can't think of her last name. <laughs> anyway, I know somebody's going to put it. So thank you. Thank you ahead of time. And, uh, you know, we're, we're all different. And just for the record, men, your balls stink too. It goes both ways. And you never know anybody else's circumstance. So instead of condemning people for something they might not even be aware of here how about this how about if i just tuck that wire in there so it's not protruding over for you to want to be enticed to eat it okay thank you thank you good boy <laughs> they like it when i do that <laughs> Yes, you like that. You gonna say hi? Spirit. Say hi. The water, the the wire already got him off guard. You never know what other people are going through. I mean, how would you like it if somebody... Oh, I saw you picking your nose on this video. I don't know. I can't think of anything stupid like what you guys think of. No, honey. Unlike the cat guy, I will get the spray bottle. I spray their hands. And no, not every day. I've only done it twice so far. Now he stays far away from the spray bottle. No, you cannot just sit here and eat a plate full of wire. So, anywho, you, do, you don't know. Like, my sister, she would talk loud like this all the time. She needed to get her ears cleaned out. She didn't know she was talking that loud all, the, all her life, you know. So, I don't know what you know. However, I will inform you delicately. 
Here, how about if I put that there and then you can't see it? Don't eat my washi tape either. So, I'm not saying don't tell people. I'm saying don't assume things about them that you don't know that are or aren't true yet. Oh, oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't shit on you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Food for thought. Consider being the bigger person and just don't say anything. Why? You, you don't have anything else to talk about that's good? And yeah, I vent and then and then I let it go. But I'm not condemning idiot for being a millionaire, not wanting to clean my basement out right away. It, it's the truth. It's not an assumption. It's the truth. Anyway... I try daily to clean up my my thought garage on how I see things. And that really struck with me probably because I was that 8-year-old, 9-year-old, 10-year-old, 40, 42-year-old. Every time my cycle came, and my thank God I had brothers, they would tell me. But I'm not I'm not one of those girls. I didn't even use the, you know, the plug I'm, mm -mm. there's only one thing that's going in there and you know what that is the eggplant that's it that's all that's going inside Susie I, di I didn't even put no okay the glass toy I did but all the plastic stuff and no no so not. but not only that I mean my armpits boy if I ever got nervous poof I was just like a skunk, man. Yes, I was, and I know it. So therefore, Mama would buy the expensive, I think it was called Mitchum. I don't know. I haven't worn deodorant. I don't think I even wore deodorant when I was working. I just, that didn't have an odor until I got older. <laughs> and then they'd take turns. One would have smell and the other one wouldn't. And even if I just got out the shower, one would have a smell and the other one wouldn't. Yeah, so, of course, what they say, in my case, I'm not shitting on you. When I started eating better, of course, all of that changed. And also, you know, where, where the mind goes, the behind follows. You know, when I start thinking different, feeling different, being different, saying different things, doing different things, it's the whole bucket of wax, not just one thing or another. I would never be so silly to tell somebody, oh, just be vegan and then and then everything will be fine. No, that's dumb. Vegans die too. They get diseases too. And I, I put it like that because you would not believe in 2013 how many people, oh, well, just, you know, just go raw. What, like raw? Vegetable eaters don't die of something. I was so dumb. Anyway, uh, let's let's go easy on ourselves and correct our own shit before we start pointing fingers at everybody else who's also not perfect like you. Okay, I know I'm not perfect, and I know I don't know nothing about nothing about nothing. I'm just Tosh. Funny black chick on on social media, you know, telling the life of a senior citizen now and the things it would be helpful, I think, if I were younger to know about senior citizens and and what they're a little get a little glimpse into their life and what they might need, what what they might not tell you that they need help getting mail out the mailbox or or, you know, going to the, the pharmacy to pick up their medicine or something like that, you know? And just like this, you know, we know senior citizens are often stinky because they can't bathe as much as, you know, we all once used to. And no, I'm not an advocate of we have to bathe every day, twice a day. No, I don't think that that's good for our skin personally. And it's already scientifically proven we don't have to bathe every single day. Yeah. Because you know, you you always know when I bathe, when you see a change of Afghan, that's when I change. <laughs> I mean, Captain, you know, I don't do anything. You know, I wash my nether regions every day, though, <laughs> but that's about it. Bless you. Go easy on yourself. Know that I love you and appreciate you for being in my energy.